Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a, another vlog or welcome to the vlog if you guys are new here. If you're new, my name's Natalie and I do a lot of college vlogs, day in the life vlogs, all those fun types of content. I'm going to be doing a lot of moving content as well and like cook with me, unpacking, organizing, home decor, all that stuff. I just moved into my new apartment with my fiance. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of exciting new content. So if you're new to this channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. I am a graduate student. I go to the University of North Texas and I'm an accounting major. So would love to have you a part of this channel. Today's vlog is just going to be unboxing, organizing, um, kind of just chatting with you guys. I do have a lot of boxes that I need to break down and trash and stuff that I need to take to the dumpster. So I'm going to be doing that and then I'm going to be unboxing as well. So just picked up my new package from the mail room downstairs. I ordered some Nespresso pods and going to be unboxing it. So excuse me with this knife. I actually cut my thumb earlier trying to break down the boxes, but it's fine. Okay, we have some lovely Nespresso pods. So my fiance and I were looking at all the different flavors that, or not flavor, yeah, flavors and different kind of coffee choices they had on the website. So we ended up doing the package of like 40 capsules I think or 50 capsules and then I ordered an extra box of caramel cookie because I really wanted to try that one so in this box it came with the Alto Intenso so this is the largest coffee size I believe it's the 14 if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it's the 14, yeah, 14 ounce. So this is the largest Nespresso. This is the double espresso Cairo or Chiaro. I'm pretty sure it's Cairo, whatever. I'm probably butchering that, but this is the double shot of espresso. I've had this one in the little trial box that came with the Nespresso and I really liked it. So this one's good. I've already had this one. So it came with 10 of those. It came with the Intenso and this is the 7.7 .7 fluid ounce coffee. It also came with the Fortado, which is the 5.7 fluid ounce coffee. And then, like I said, I ordered the caramel cookie, which I'm so excited to try. Like, it just sounded really good. And yeah, this is the caramel cookie one. It looks amazing. And then the last one that came with the package duo was the double espresso scuro, which is the 2.70 fluid ounces. And then I was, given an option for a free like coffee sample thing which i've already I already have one of these but i finished them but it's it's free it's just a free sample it comes with one of the double espressos or these are both double espressos but one of them is the scuro and then the other one is the charo or cairo chiaro whatever it's this one if it's gonna focus Also, the shipping was really fast. I ordered this on Saturday and today is Monday. So shipping was really fast for this. Oh, okay. So I was wrong. So the package is the Virtuo 40 Capsule Connoisseurs Pack. So the pack of 40 and then I added the caramel cookie as well as the double espresso charo ciaro whatever so these were the two that i added and then the 
Virtuo 40 pack came with these. So I'll link that stuff down below. So. So beautiful. Always staring back. Our room is a mess, but this is the little side table I was telling you guys that came with those two big lounge chairs. So he's currently using that right now. And then the lamps are from Costco. They're just really pretty glass lamps. So this is his side of the bed, obviously. And then the nightstands that we got from Overstock with this bed frame is this right here. So we couldn't fit both on each side, but we were able to fit one. So I'm going to be using this one. And then I have the other lamp over here as well. So that's what that looks like. Um, yeah, love the bed set. There's extra storage right here in the bed frame. I get my hopes up every time And I don't wanna be Be let down each road to find I just wish I'd seen The price tag for my heart breaking Was it worth all that waiting When I always knew just how I felt Yeah, I'm looking back at the past And I feel regret So I wanna walk on the block See where we met Try to forget that you went out my clothes into the closet and I did get rid of some things because a lot of the things that I'm getting rid of either is super old like from my high school days or I don't really wear them anymore or there's kind of like just wear and tear so I'm getting rid of these I was able to fit my stuff in here um so I have like some coats, some blazers, jeans, slacks, dresses, and then I threw all of my tank tops in the way back here. I don't know, the way they designed this closet is probably not the best, but since it's fall and winter, I threw all my tank tops back there, and then the long sleeves and sweaters I have accessible right here, and then... The rest of the closet space is for Chris, so I don't know how much stuff he has to bring. I haven't emptied out my shoes yet. I still have a whole box of shoes. And then I also have a shoe rack that I'm looking for as well, and I bet you it's probably in one of those boxes that they put it in. Our den and study is a mess right now. This is actually going in the trash. It's broken. It's broken back here and it's also like broken down here at the bottom corner as well and it's broken in the back. There's like a dent and it's starting to fall apart in the back. So this is going bye bye. Still can't figure out my desk unfortunately. I have a whole toiletries box I still have to unpack. Um, empty box. I have some school supplies in that box and then we're still trying to figure out like the wires and stuff so yeah I don't know it's a mess but it's slowly coming together this room 
is a mess but anyways um, what else is going on so i need to take these boxes downstairs to the dumpster we also made some fish tacos we what did we do so i had chris make the fish before he just left to go to work and super easy i found the recipe on pinterest I do have my midterm for my external audit class today and update. I took my internal audit exam last week, which was the open note one, and I got 85 on that one. So, not bad. Um, the one I'm taking tonight, I'm a little nervous about because it's 15 fill-in-the-blank questions and then one or maybe two short answer questions. So, it's not... There's not a whole lot of room to get questions wrong, if you know what I mean. Uh, update on my Nespresso. I'm obsessed with it. Like, if you ask me, definitely worth the money. This was not cheap. I think I spent... The Nespresso machine itself with the milk frother was $1.99. And then I did... What else? Oh, I did uh, fast shipping. So I think the total that I paid was like $2.22. And then here's the milk frother. But definitely worth it. Like definitely worth it. The coffee is amazing. The espresso is amazing. It smells amazing. And it's a cure I could, I could never go back to a cure egg after using this Nespresso. I've made hot coffee and I've made iced coffee and honestly like it's so good i don't see myself buying coffee like at a coffee shop anytime soon unless i'm like not home and at the library or something and i really need a coffee then obviously i would you know buy one but if i'm gonna leave my house and go to starbucks and buy coffee like i don't need to do that this thing it it equals starbucks and it equals any other coffee place i've been to so definitely worth the money this is the nespresso virtuo or virtuo plus i don't know how to say it but i'll link it down below definitely worth it um i made my iced coffee today it's so good and then chris is really picky with coffee too so he actually really likes the coffee that the nespresso makes as well which is a shocker because he's really picky with coffee so Definitely worth it for the Nespresso machine. I also picked up this toaster oven from Walmart. It was 20 bucks. It's a toaster and it can do bake, broil, toast. 20 bucks from Walmart. That was honestly a good find. So I went ahead and purchased that. And then, and then this morning I also bought a couple of seasonings as well for like the fish and stuff. So. All right, guys, I just got home from campus. I took my midterm exam and I don't think I did very well. There was 15 fill in the blank questions and then one extra credit. And then there was two short answers. I didn't even fill out the short answers and the short answers were 30 points. And I think I wrote like three sentences and I don't even think they were the correct answer. So I didn't really do that well, or I don't think I did that well. I don't really know my grade until he like grades them. But I'm back home now. I also stopped at Costco to get my contacts because my contacts came in. And I am hungry. So I'm gonna warm up some of the fish tacos that we made earlier today. And then I'm gonna take a shower because I really need to wash my hair. And I'm probably going to start editing a video. I'm hungry. So let's eat. Here's the sauce. It smells so good. The fish taco sauce. Like I said, I got it from Pinterest, so I will try and link the recipe that I use down below. Here's the 
fish tacos. They smell so good. And here are the corn tortillas. I'm tired. I just, I feel like I can't process what I'm going through in life right now. I feel like a zombie just going through life and not even knowing what I'm going through because there's just so much crap. Does that make sense? I don't know. Here are my fish tacos. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> I tried to make it cute, but it didn't really work. All right, update. Those fish tacos were so fire. They were so good. Highly recommend the recipe. I will link it in the description box down below. I found it on Pinterest. But oh my gosh, they were so good. Um, like they were, they were insane. They were really good. I was kind of scared because I get really kind of skeptical on fish tacos because sometimes like they just, they either can come out really good or they can come out like really fishy. But this one was really good. I'm gonna put a glass of wine just because like I really kind of want. A glass of wine but I'm not gonna open the bottle I'm actually gonna use this Coravin and this is actually a really cool tool I didn't really know anything about wine until I started dating Chris but what you do is you just open the clamps like this and instead of opening the whole bottle you can just puncture this needle through and pour a glass of wine which is really convenient and then you push the needle all the way down. We also got these wine glasses from Costco. And then you hold it like this. I'm actually going to taste the wine first before I pour a whole glass because I can get pretty picky when it comes to wine. But this does smell good. It kind of smells like jam. Yeah, this is really good. It tastes like jam. Alright, so here's my glass of wine. Probably shouldn't be wearing a white shirt, but whatever. I'm gonna go brush my hair. I started editing a little bit after I ate dinner, but my battery started to blink, so I had to charge my battery, but I'm gonna go brush my hair and get ready to take a shower because I need to wash my hair. Hey guys, I just got out of the shower and started crying because I was looking at pictures of my my dad and my aunt and I just like I just can't believe they're both gone I'm still trying to process and I'm still trying to grieve from my dad's death and like we just had another loss in the a loss in the family like I don't understand <laughs> so we lost my dad from COVID and we just lost my aunt from her battle with COVID as well so she passed away um Saturday October 2nd and she was in the hospital for about a month, just like my dad was. Um, I don't know. Anyways, I'm still grieving, basically, and 
Yeah. So, um. I'm also gonna get some Halo Top. Uh, this is the chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm just gonna eat a little bit and sit on the couch. I'm wearing this cute sweatsuit set from Francesca's. Let me show you. So this is the sweatsuit, or sweatsuit, but like PJ lounge set that I'm wearing. Super cute. Um, just some shorts and a tie-dye sweatshirt. I'm going to put this collagen mask on my face because my skin has been really dry lately and I think it's because the weather change but also I've been having like breakouts on my chin and I think it's from the mask just like covering my face all the time Now that I look super weird, <laughs> actually I had it in the fridge while I was showering so it's like nice and cold. I'm just gonna sit on the couch and edit my vlog. I just got off of a zoom call with my internal audit group and one of the companies that we are doing a consulting project with um, that went good and I'm so tired so I'm gonna make a big cup of coffee also those overnight oats like are just so they're so good. They're super easy. I just do rolled oats, some chia seeds, almond milk, strawberries and blueberries, and then I drizzle honey on top and it's just so good. I think I'm gonna try the caramel cookie coffee today. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Cute! Look at the packaging! It's so cute. I hope it's not too sweet. Oh, it's 7.77. That's a lot of coffee. But honestly, like, I kind of need it. I'm so tired. So.
I made a huge mess. So caramel cookie is definitely yummy. It's different. Um, I didn't use all the coffee. There's still some in here. I don't think my glass was big enough. I think I underestimated how much coffee this made. I'm actually just going to pour the rest of this since I drank some now. Guys, look how pretty this looks. It looks like a gourmet coffee. It's so good. Just sitting here on the couch <sighs> in the living room. I just took some quizzes for my B-Law class, which I had that class today, but I forgot to film when I was on campus. So basically, I don't remember the last thing you guys saw. I'm pretty sure I made my coffee and like ate breakfast this morning and everything. And then I think I stopped vlogging when I left the house. But basically I went to campus, I had my business law class. And then after that, I went to my grandma's house. And then I went to my uncle's house. And then I came here and we had some more fish tacos for dinner, which was really good. And now I'm just sitting here watching Friends. And Chris is in the study doing homework. You guys can see the light is on. So he's doing his paper that he has to type up. And then I'm also uploading a video. My laptop's like over there. So I'm uploading a video. And yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night and end this vlog here because I feel like lately it's just the like the past like week has been pretty hectic for me <sighs> sorry I'm so tired and I feel like I'm gonna be really bad at vlogging and I'm just really tired like bad at vlogging because there's just so much stuff going on and today and I like forgot to I forgot that I was vlogging earlier so I'm just gonna end this video here because your girl's really tired like I just almost started falling asleep in class today I'm just emotionally drained like emotionally and physically drained but yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new and I will see you lovely people in my next video Bye.